What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, we are about to watch The Bad Batch Episode 2. Now, last week's episode, by the way, the reaction I've gotten from my reaction of the first episode of The Bad Batch and, you know, the videos I've put out since then, uh, the reaction and the support and the outpouring of that has been amazing, so I thank you all for that. So, last week's episode was super good. I would probably give it like an 8.9 out of 10. Super great, great opening scenes, obviously. You know me. Kanan Jarrus is my favorite character in all of Star Wars. So Caleb Doom being there at the beginning, you know, made me very, very happy. Obviously, the scene of him being in that wasn't so happy and jolly and stuff like that, but it was good. You know, the Order 66 scene, you know, where Palpatine's execute Order 66. It was it was good. I think overall the episode was good. I'm curious about Omega. Uh, I'm curious to see, you know, the direction they go with that character. Obviously, I feel like they're probably gonna do how, you know, they did with the Mandalorian, you know, you know, Hunter and, you know, is going to be kind of like a father figure. But anyway, uh, honestly, I just hope this is not kind of a filler episode. I hope we see Cut Quain. I really do. I really, really do. But I don't know. Maybe we'll see Rex too. But uh, let's get right into the reaction. But before it starts, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Hopefully we get right into it, guys. What are we looking at? A booby trap. Single trip wire. <laughs> That's cute. Oh! Easy, Rekka. We have you. Hey! More clones. God, look away, motherfucker. It's been a while, fellas. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I called it. Well, obviously. Sounds familiar. Rex told us about the clone troopers turning against the Jedi. You told Damn. me Rex? When? Oh, he passed through yesterday. Fuck. Go? Didn't ask. He was going on about some behavioral implant. Aww. They're pulling the fucking strings like with Din Djarin and Grogu, man. Rex passed through here a couple days ago. That's, that's a good sign. But I wish Rex was there then. Wow, they already transferred the currency. Wow. As I kind of figured, it's gonna be kind of a filler episode. I know, I know we're meeting Cut Queen, That's fine, but it kind of be like a filler. Oh, Miga, can you not like get lost, please? Be great. It's a fucking what is that animal called? It's the one that fucking fucked with Padme. Scratch her on her back. Oh, dude, this is gonna be badass. Oh damn. Woo. Fuck me. That's all that matters. Come on. Cut the dad. The guy. All in all, I would say that could have gone much worse. <laughs> Fucking dead. Inside that impound facility. That is our way in. You're suggesting we call the authorities and have them seize our ship? That is exactly what I am saying. It's actually kind of smart, actually. I guess if they think it's abandoned. What? <laughs> <laughs> you did what? Ah, uh, that's so. That's good. It's good. Heck, this was the simplest solution. No chance you're getting past all of them undetected. We can't get caught with these chain codes. We can't get caught at all. What are you talking about? If we get tied up in a blaster fight, they're gonna lock down the whole port. Where the discs go? You and doing? Omega. The chain codes are en route. With Omega. By herself. You let her go by yourself? Damn it, if dude. Something happens to her. Like I said, kids always find trouble. Uh, the maintenance tech. I've got a situation to face. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. This is horrible. The worst plan ever, bro. Where are you going? Uh, show me a chain coach, citizen. Sure. I got it right here. Oh, right. Must be in this hand. Classic, eh? Oh my god, bro. This is horrible, guys. The X 
extra chain codes for you. So you can leave with Cut and Sue. Why? Did... Did I do something? Fuck me, dude. Fucking kids. Family, kid. They're good people. They'll give you the life you deserve. To go, Omega. It's... For your own good. Made me sad. I don't like that. Well, they're in a, just having a firefight over there. <laughs> She's gonna run. Yeah, she ain't gonna. Come on now. Oh, there we go! Dude, Hunter, I fucking love you, Hunter. Badass motherfucker, bro. Oh my god, I knew it. Fucking knew it. Oh my god, Omega. You fuck. What well, now, though? Are you? Come on, man. All right, guys. That is the second episode of the Bad Batch. Um, honestly, when I'm gonna say it's a filler episode, but when I say filler, I don't necessarily mean it's like bad, and that's not what I mean. It just means it's world building, it's character development. It's not necessarily moving the plot along, which you could argue that that's what moves the plot along. But for instance, like we don't I have we have no idea what we're going or what we're doing next. Like, I, I'm, obviously, we're probably going to go try and find Rex. But I mean, do you know for sure? You know, like that's all I have to say for that. But as far as that goes out of the way of like the negativity side of it, um, I would have to say the Hunter Omega stuff is very, very pleasing. I, I I have a soft spot for like kids and like, you know, the father figures and stuff like that. I really, really like that. That's why I like the Mandalorian so much. And that's why I think a lot of people connected to the Mandalorian. But hopefully the, they don't rely on that too, too heavily because uh, we we do we have that for the Mandalorian. We have Din Djarin, you know what, and uh, and Grogu. But I don't know. Wherever the direction they're going, I know that Dave Filoni has a vision, and I believe in that vision. So, uh, I'm a cu very curious to see where we go. Cut Queen, I mean, too. I mean, he was just kind of just background character. You know what I mean? He kind of just was like, hey, and then left. And I don't know if I'll ever see that character again. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of just what it is. It's just an episode. The relationship building is good. Some highlights in this episode, though, were. Uh, you know the galactic you know credits and stuff like that that was kind of cool to like see that where you know the your id and all that kind of you know that you're turning into a number you know and the citizens and being marked you know as a imperial citizens kind of really cool the transition period and that's what i really really was curious about this show so it's it's good to see that in the episode but other than that guys i hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing other than that guys may the force be with you always